how are you? This is Rane with Yummy Life in Dairy. Welcome back again to another very good Sunday. And my people, today I am making for you a very, very interesting dish. And the dish of the day is Mbuzi Wet Fry or Goat Wet Fry. Yes, guys. So here are the ingredients of the day. So my people, I have about 800 grams of goat meat that has already been cubed, three grated tomatoes, two big thinly sliced onions. I have one pepper that I have split in the middle. And this one is just for the aroma and not really for the kick of the, of the pepper. A thumb size, ginger, about three cloves of garlic, I have one tomato that I haven't cut and I'll show you what to do with it. I have one small bunch of coriander. I'm going to need three cubes of roiko. I'm going to need about two tablespoons of gravy browning. If you don't have gravy browning, you can do dark soy sauce. Salt, definitely oil. This is what we are going to do. In our saucepan, we are going to mix a teaspoon of salt. So our goat meat is quite fatty. So I'm just going to put like a tablespoon of oil. We are going to do like quarter a cup of water. And I prefer using boiling water. That way I cook very fast. Then I'm going to sprinkle on my onion I'm going to put my one whole pepper and I'm going to crush the ginger and the garlic and add it here so our garlic and ginger is our paste now and I'm going to just add a teeny bit of water put this in the goat meat so this is ready to go to the fire so this is going to boil once it is boiling it will help the boozy to render out the fat and that way everything will cook together. Our meat. Our meat is cooked down. And now it was almost burning. I just wanted to give it a bit of brown color. But now I'm going to put like two tablespoons of gravy browning just to give it a very rich color. You see, whatever you see on the side, it will get deglazed by the tomatoes. So now we put our tomato. Any goat stew or goat meat, it is best cooked without any water. So we cover this so that our tomato can deglaze the pan. And also cook down. It's been like five minutes and our tomatoes are well, well done. And you see, they have deglazed our pan. I'm going to add my three Royco cubes. If you have a chili cube, you can add. If you have a beef cube, or even a no cube, all that will do. It's only that I fancy Royco. I'm 
I need it to be a bit more thicker than this and Draco will do that for me. I love the color and because of the garlic and ginger it smells just amazing so we cook down the Royco it's cooked down now you see it has even changed the texture of our stew it's quite thick and now we are going to put our our coriander and just let it wilt I've switched off. Our wambuzi wet fry is ready now. We cover this and we get ready for service. My people, now it is time for service. Our goat fry is ready and I'm going to serve it in my platter here. I'm just showing you how you can serve this. Guys, here is our goat wet fry. And now I just want to show you how we are going to garnish with some tomatoes. Using a paring knife, I'm just going to cut like I'm doing this. But you make sure that you get to, to the middle of your tomato. And now you just separate it like that and we garnish our food. Now let us serve our goat. I just take a bit of the tomato and a helping on the side then i like eating goat meat with bread and my hands are clean and you make sure that you get a piece of meat. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, Whew. that is amazing and yummy. So guys, go ahead, make these recipes. They are so easy to make and I know you're going to enjoy it. And my people, I can't wait. Until next Sunday, I come see you with a brand new video. Bye, guys.